There has been this move over the last two decades to try to recognize the importance of work that is produced beyond the traditions of the scholarly article and beyond the traditions of text. Sound is porous. It has the capacity to connect us collectively and singularly. This is better articulated by writer and sound artist Brandon LaBelle when he states, and I quote, sound is intrinsically and unignorably relational. It emanates, propagates, communicates, vibrates, and agitates. I am queen. 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 The songs are quite fast, so they're hard for us to process. Birds process sound much faster than we do. So I'm going to play a recording of this song full speed um, and then slowed down so you can sort of hear uh, more and more of the detail. So that's all the same songs. So when the birds are hearing that, they're hearing all that detail that we can only hear if we slow it down. Bear with me by letting me explain to you that it's a secular approach, and I'm interested in the power of, of these images and the power that religion holds. we've heard others say, sustainability isn't a choice, it's a fact. We're all in this together, but we can make ourselves worthy of our times. I think of these forces between victim and perpetrator as a kind of rhythm of the heart, producing systolic and diastolic pressure, attraction to the light of finding a way through loss and revulsion at the hatreds and violence that have brought us to this place. So Spivak's been talking about learning from below for a very long time, and we're still trying to find ways of doing that. Maybe the university needs to be a little bit more dynamic in that space, thus allowing us to discard the structures that create top-down forms of power and eradicate all forms of apartheid. As even all of the new ways in which we're thinking about fashion as resale, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it has not actually reduced the volume in which people are consuming. In fact, it's exacerbating it. People are doing things for all good intention, but unless we fundamentally shift our ways of seeing, knowing, and being, we're not going to be able to actually create the ch deep change we need. Because the real question for me is not about what's the most sustainable thing, what's the new material, what's, what's the slight, you know, twist on the dial of the status quo. The real question for me is this, how are we going to live? Because we are going to have to live in a very, very different way in the very near future. <laughs> 